What's up everybody, Gerard here from the 3T Crew presenting you with our G1 Climax 30 Night 4 Block B review. But before that, let me tell you about some couple things we got on our table right now. Before we put you through it, we have our podcast, which you can find on Apple, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, Google Play, Podbean, and now on iHeartRadio. If you want to buy a t-shirt, support the 3T Crew, you can cop one of our two designs on ProWrestlingTees.com. Yes, the 3T Crew is on Pro Wrestling Tees. If you want to follow us on social media, if you like wrestling memes and wrestling news, check us out on Instagram at iStrongStyle and at Through the Table. If you want to follow us on Twitter, here are hot takes during live tweeting the Dynamite or Raw or SmackDown or NXT at 3T Pod. And now we're on TikTok at iStrongStyle. Now let's jump into our review. Once now that we got the bills paid, let's, let's jump into some review. Start off with our Young Lion match. Yota Tuji and Yuhara Yuhara. Like we said in a couple episodes building up to this, this is building for which young lion is the most dominant. And right now, Yota is at 3 0. He's the dominant one right now. Yuha is at Donut. 0 um, 3 oh and three is not hard to come back from, especially because you're fighting the same two guys over and over and over again. But it might be insurmountable. Yota's looking dominant, man. That spear is something. Pretty interesting match. Um, the Young Lions have very bland movesets, obviously, due to their status as Young Lions. But that does not make it impossible to enjoy their matches. But Yota is now at 3-0. and We'll see. Does he run the table? Now let's jump into our G1 Climax itself, Block B, Night 4. We started off with Hiroki Goto versus our pick for Block B, Sonata. And right now it's not looking too good. Sonata's at Donut at 0-1-2. Hiroki Goto... Once again, had a pretty solid match. He's typical Godo style match. Um, he had every all his signature offers GTR, DTW, Ushigaroshi, etc. I wasn't really too much into this match as much as I thought I would be. I'm um, trying to really focus on trying to see if is this Sonata's time. Um, Sonata looked okay. His entrance gear had it has to be inspired by Skull from Persona 5, so that gets a plus for me. We'll see. I mean, it's a long tournament. A win two is not insurmountable in the G1, as we all know. Now we're jumping into our second match, which was the upset of the century as the king of pro wrestling, Y-T-R, Toro Yano, upsets the ace of the universe, the one in 100, Hiroshi Tanahashi. I was enjoy I enjoyed the hell out of the match. This is my second best match of the night. I'll put that on record here. Second best match of the night for me. It's just funny because usually Toro Yano's G1 matches are kind of this... But this one was pretty dope. Um, Deano tried to coerce Tanahashi to the outside of the ring. Then he did his stuff with the turnbuckle pad, which Tanahashi grabbed it and did the guitar thing. Um, Tanahashi himself was playing into Yano's antics, trying to untie the, the turnbuckle pads and all that. They did fight outside the ring, which led to a funny spot where Tanahashi had to run down the ramp. As we all know, Tanahashi's knees are shot. So seeing him run was pretty funny. They did a lot of fun comedy spots. Yano secures the upset after being blinded by tape. Tanahashi taped his face. But Yano, blind and all, defeats the ace of the universe, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Yano's at 2-0 and in the block right now. You know, we got Goto at 1-1, one one, Sonata at 0-2 on Donut. And now Hiroshi Tanahashi joins Sonata at Donut 0-2. We'll see. I don't think this is going to last. I think Tanahashi will pick up at least a couple wins. I doubt they're going to make him go 0-9 in the tournament. I don't think that's going to happen. Now we jump into our... After that, we had our typical break in between where they clean the ring, promote their merchandise, and then we jump right back into the action with Kenta versus the flamboyant one, Juice Robinson. This was a pretty fun match. Um, Juice Robinson's over as hell the babyface. Kenta is Kenta. You, we all know what you're going to get from a Kenta match. It's going to be stiff. It's going to be methodical. It's not for everybody. Um, Juice Robinson picks up the win here, which was a surprise. I had Kenta win in this one. When I was looking at the, the the match schedule before the tournament, I had Kenta beating Juice in this one. So now Juice Robinson is now at 2-0. and And now Kenta is at 1-1. One one. Pretty interesting to see where they go here. I do not see either one winning the tournament. But, like I mentioned in our previous couple episodes, Taichi and Juice Robinson might have their best tournaments of their careers. And right now, at 2-0 each, they're both shaping up on their respective blocks to have that. 
Now we get into the co-main event, the first of our matches in the co-main events, which I thought was match of the night, which Evil versus the the rising Yoshihashi. I mean, if you everybody who watches New Japan knows Yoshihashi's kind of a mid-card guy. Always one of those guys who should have been better than he, he is. And it's been used in storylines. I think it was what, last year where Tanahashi was like, you know, you don't see how many guys passed you. You should have been better than what you're at. You see, this guy's passing you. This guy's passing you. And it's been kind of a motivational factor for Yoshihashi. Now he's won his first title a couple weeks ago. They never opened with six-man title. And had two phenomenal matches against his com Chaos Compadres. I thought it was pretty dope matches. This match was match of the night for me. And the announcers, especially the really, uh, Milano Collection AT, really... I don't speak Japanese, but the, you could just tell that they're really behind Yoshiashi and they're putting him over the whole time saying. And they had a lot of false finishes and he fought back from Dick Togo's initial interferences. And at one point, I'm believing Yoshihashi is about to upset evil. I'll be honest with you, I thought it was going to happen. I really thought it was going to happen at some point. I'm like, wow, this is really good. Like, this is probably one of the best matches of the tournament so far. Who would have thought? Yep. Yeah. Who would have thought we would have had a Yoshihashi match in one of the best matches of the tournament so far? On a really strong tournament so far. Evil won, um, Darkness Falls, one, two, three. Evil's at one and one. And sadly, Yoshihashi did not get any points for his maybe one of the best matches of his career up to this point. He's at Donut right now at 0 and 2. Now we get the main event, which featured um, Zack Sabre Jr., the submission god of New Japan, pretty much. You might as well just start calling him that. Versus the double champion, Tetsuya Naito. Pretty good match. Um, it's pretty interesting that they're kind of playing Zack Zaber Jr. as a babyface still. There's points in the match where he lets go of holes on the ropes and he kind of respected the rules to a point. Naito really matched him in the, on the mat too, which is something you don't really see from Naito. He's a he's an all-around great wrestler, but he really kind of almost outworked him at points in this match. Once again, this match had a lot of false finishes where. Zack Zaber Jr., as we mentioned in our previous B-Block episode, is a counter expert, so he's having a lot of counters, and that led it to close falls. This one, I kind of thought maybe Zack would have won due to that he's gonna have, Nitro's going to have a title fetch at Power Struggle in November. We're all trying to figure out who's going to be the one to beat Naito and get that title match. We'll find out maybe in the coming weeks. I'm sure he'll lose at least one or maybe two matches in this G1. I do not know if he's going to win. Um, the champion has never won the G1. In recent times, in the recent era, I think the last one was either Sasuke, Sasuke, or maybe Masahiro Chono. So, we'll see about that. Naito now sits at 2-0. and He won with a series of Destinos. Zack Zabra Jr. is at 1-1. and It's going to be interesting now. We, we get a couple days off. Um, the tournament restarts back up on September 27th with A Block from Sapporo. Until next time, this is Gerard from the 3T Crew. Signing off, and I have a quick PSA for everybody. Please wear your damn mask. Stay healthy and stay safe. And goodbye and good night. Bang.